We're here today. Dad, say hi to my fans. Hi, our daily fans. The fans of Explore Camaris. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, that is all. That What's is the all. advice for us? Well, um, I just have to advise us to dream big. Okay. Uh, noting that your dream are supposed to be scary. Because if your dream doesn't scare you, then they aren't big enough. But hold on, no. This, uh, dream, my dream should be scared. Like, yeah, I mean your aspirations. Oh. Yes, okay. if your aspirations, your dreams, mm -hmm. does not scare you, mm -hmm. it simply means that they are not big enough. Okay. All right, because your dream is the vision for your future self. All right. Oh, okay. So that is just it, and I wish you guys a happy Super Sunday. Thank you. But come now, we are not done. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, come, we are not done. What so, else do you want to Last do? time, people were complaining about your fasting mode. So, what's your fasting uh, duration so far? Mommy, the one. Check and do we go to the cool. That way. Chelo, 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 chelo. Mommy, chelo, chelo, chelo. That wait now. Wait for what again? Hi, good. That yeah. wait, wait, wait. Wait, what, you're fasting. Tell us about your fasting now, so far. I'm fasting now. Eh? <laughs> Let me level up to what I mean by dreaming big. You can agree with me that our dreams are the fuel that propels us forward in life. All right. So the moment you find yourself, it means your aspirations in life your visions in life the friends the companies you keep determines this also because it is in that environment that's an environment to find yourself that you make up these friends that you dream big and to ensure that your dreams are very scary okay because if your dream does not scare you it means they are not big enough we should dream big okay. and also um, ensure that we are the right place at the right time. So how do we know that we are, our dreams are big enough? Eh, your dream should be scary. So your aspirations in life should be scary. So I'm not talking, then if my dream should be scary, isn't it fantastic? Like I said, you must have to aspire very, very high. Okay, if your dreams if your wants, if your wishes, if your aspirations don't scare you, it means they're not big enough. And then he's made you should be able to, to, to wonder, can I do this? Can I meet up to this? Can me be the person owning this entity tomorrow? All right? So, I mean, your dreams should be big enough to scare you. I adjust it. All right. And then you talked about that um, environment affects our dream. So how does environment affect our dream? Most of us are, are, are stinkingly stuck in the wrong environment. All right. You must know when to move. You must know when to let go. And when I mean let go, not letting go what you are holding at hand. Let, let go of this environment. Let go of these friends. Let go of the company you keep, all right? So, most importantly, the environment we find ourselves has a very vital influence to play in our life. That is how, why you need to be very careful of where you are at a point in time. Know when to leave that vicinity, know when to leave that environment for another environment. Because the friends you keep there, the company you keep there has a lot to do in your daily life, in your thinking, in your manners, in your aspirations. That is just it. Wow, this is beautiful. Thank you very, very much. Uh, this is the first time we are seeing you so serious. Sir. Uh, over serious, this is not even good too. You play hard, you work hard. So, that is just it. All right, thank you very much. So come to think of it, we have been having our 100 days so far. I think we're in day nine. So what can you say about the fasting so far, generally? A, a big congratulations to those that are skied in for the 100 days fasting. And uh, we are also expecting that, that a lot of Zionites 
we also queue in too. We are also expecting the new combat too. I think uh, so far so good it has been good. I've been doing my best too. Not very much. Wow, okay, beautiful. So in the part of this fasting, do you think fasting aids our prayer life? Life is spiritual, alright? Okay. It has uh, always been my slogan. You see, uh, fasting helps you to build your spiritual life. Fasting helps you to build the spirituality in you. It does help your prayer life too. But for me, I'm sorry to say, I think uh, I, I'm not trying to be controversial here, but I'm trying to say that I personally, I believe more in wishes. I believe so much more in wishes. I believe so much more in meditations. I believe so much more in, uh, I don't do, I don't believe so much in too many prayers because oftentimes a lot of prayers we say are by mere sentiments right that is why you could see or you could observe that sometimes when you are praying you you are distracted your minds are somewhere else maybe having a flashback of an event or of a thought having an imaginary view of what happened yesterday of what happened at work yesterday so to me i believe so much in wishes than prayer no one has ever said or can tell you now that he or she has wished and were distracted wish is wish hence they are good wishes so that is just it but pray about fasting is good i encourage every night to go into the fasting the only this fasting okay thank you thank you surrounding yourself with dreamers. Nonetheless, the environment you find yourself could either affect your dreams positively or negatively. That is why you should know when to leave a particular environment for another environment. Thank you.